and we're talking today about tax on split income or TOSI induced corporate reorganizations back to the future. This course is sort of what I, we like about this is that we're introducing various elements that even if a person comes to you and says we have an estate freeze, these are various elements you got to think about. It's not, I don't like the word, word checklist because it almost sounds like it's cookie cutter because it's not, but it's looking at issues that you have to think about as part of a reorg that's part of your mandate. That's not where the client or whoever, let's say a lot of payments, we get referrals from other accountants like you, you know, find uh, ladies and gentlemen out there in the audience, but it's what they're expecting us to figure out. That's what the, it's a thinking part. It's like basically I find what's hard about this is that you're afraid not about what you know, but you're missing what, like, you're, missing. what exactly. you're gonna miss. There might be an issue on, I don't know, 55-2 you've walked into by doing something, right? I'm just giving you an example, which is obviously you guys know my, my little favorite, which is why Boris has, when I asked Boris to split the course up, he conveniently put the, the butterfly stuff in 55, he gave it to me. King but butterfly. No, no, King Butterfly, <laughs> King, not King Butterfly. But the other thing is now, why are we talking about toasty induced corporate reorg? Well, we're gonna, Boris is gonna talk about this, is that what we've explained is that by trying to enhance to get a capital gains exemption, that's become increasingly important in private corporation taxation, not just with the standard stuff, but it's also we're going to explain to Boris will explain to why it's important and why maximizing a capital gains exemption is important, not just for the obvious reason on a sale, but there's other issues as well.